What's going on y'all? This is Nick with Bear Family Farms. Here's another way we build these little dog feeders for our guard dogs. As you can see, it's just a just some pallets, three pallets. A lot of times you can find these for free or darn near free. You got a center block in there to keep it up off the ground. And then you got your dog feeder chow hound. I'm gonna put a leak in the comments where this one, this one in particular here is a 50 pound feeder. I like the 50 pound feeders because I can fill it up and it'll last one dog well over a week, closer to two weeks and two dogs usually it can last them about a week depending on their workload uh, and how hard they're working at night and whatnot and how much they're running around and doing their job. But And then here is just an old livestock gate uh, that I cut the top layer out and uh, moved it up about six inches, eight inches. And then they jump right on in there uh, and keeps the goats out from eating the goat feed. A lot of times people ask, you know, how do I keep my goats from eating my dog feed, my dog food? And right here is is, uh, is an example on how we how we do that. Uh, we have some other examples. I'll go back. I'll go out and, and show some of them here shortly. But kind of a bad angle. It's kind of up on a hill at the moment. But like I said, just three. Uh, Three pallets, belled wired together, and then whenever you want to move it, you just take that belling wire off. Or if you want to keep it stationary, you could or bigger. If you wanted to make it bigger, you could put two pallets together on all sides, so that'd be six pallets. Screw them together, and you got more stationary um, protection. But we move these a lot of the time, and I'll just unwire that wire and move the pallets, or I'll just leave it. This one here has been sitting here probably about two months or so and but uh yeah we'll go out and show you some more of the different types that that we use but again i'll just show you the inside of that it's just a center block bungee cord keeps it from falling over and then uh, you're ready to rock and roll video of it in action we'll jump on in they jump on out. We feed our guard dogs, folks. We get, we get this stuff at Tractor Supply. About $22, $23 a sack, 50 pounds. We like it a lot. It works pretty well if you're wondering on nutrition wise. That's what we're looking at. Here's another look at another dog feeder setup that we got. This used to be an old pig trap that we converted into a feeder. As you can see, it's just a giant square. We got a center block up there. Keep it off the ground. Tied up with some string. Pretty simple. Fill it up, 50 pound feeder. Then I also took some two by fours and wired them on there so that way he can jump through and not get scratched on the top and bottom. And they hop right on in there. Here we got another example folks. Uh, this is just here on, the, on one of your corner braces. Put up a little piece of cow panel, hog panel. That's a 25 pound feeder there and uh, up on the center block you got your gate you got some small four by four squares to keep the little ones out and you're just you know you're just on the corner here no big deal simple small jump right in jump right out pretty easy t pose in the corner all you got to do is one t pose and then you use your brace, your corner braces as the other places to tie off with your wire. Here's another example, folks. There's just some uh, scrap 2x4s, some hog panel, made a little gate so they don't push themselves in it or scratch themselves. Uh, you got your chow hound 50 pound feeder covered in petroleum jelly. Uh, that helps keep the bugs off 
and then you put your food on in there and then they jump on in and they go to town pretty simple stuff keeps other goats out of here keeps hogs and stuff out of here it's small it's portable pretty lightweight you can put it back on your back of your truck or the back of your uh, side by side and move it around uh, again this is just a another example of what we use uh, to feed our dogs out of and this stuff's just in there with some bailing wire screwed some holes in there uh, that's how you keep it in there same deal up here 